Welcome to Eastside Baptist Church. My name is James Jenkins, the 14th, and I'm coming to you live today to tell you that the Lord has been watching you motherfuckers not put nothing in the contribution box. What? Sister Jenkins, please point the person out. I ain't put no more in that damn place. I'm going to try to pass it around. It's the reason why fix our toilet in the church is not working. I said it's not Because no one has been putting nothing in the box. And you got to pay to hear about the Lord and he what? gave me the word to give it to you. You motherfuckers better start putting something in the contribution. Oh, Lord. So me and Sister Jenny can you continue to ride D's on that bitch. What the hell is a D? Welcome, welcome. You are now listening to On One Radio, the talk show podcast station. Bringing you the realest entertainment, information, music, lifestyle, and truth and comedy shows around. This is Sister Talk, and I am your host, Sister Such and Such. For those of y'all who don't know me, well, come on, Sister Such and Such, and I'm an open-minded and raw character who says exactly what's on my mind. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, telling the truth about it all. I don't sugarcoat nothing. I say so. Take it with a grain of love and call it a damn day. Mm-hmm. Now, let's get this out the way. This podcast contains some quotation images and excerpts from copyrighted material. These uses fall well within the copyright doctrine of fair use. Fair use refers to the right to reproduce, use, and share. Now, tonight's episode is, well, oh, sister such and such is going to lay it out for you. I feel like our men focus is targeted. From all the men folk that's been getting in trouble here lately about accusations and whatnot. Mm -hmm. So we've got, uh, who up next now? Conor McGregor. Now we all know that these hoes, now all women ain't hoes, but for the most part, the ones that's out here with all these false ass accusations is some hoes. Because we know, we know these hoes want the bag. They want the bling bling. They want what they can get. Now, don't make it right, but it's happening. And you fellas got to protect yourself now. Now, Conor McGregor, if you don't know him, he's a mixed martial artist. Conor Anthony McGregor is an Irish professional mixed martial artist and boxer. Now, he's over in Dublin, Ireland. Mm -hmm. Now, his net worth is about $120 million. Now, he done won competitions from the UFC 202, UFC 194, UFC Fight Night, uh, McGregor versus Bernardo, and that was a good fight, y'all. But anywho, um, he's he's in the news because not, not only does he have one accusation, but he's got another one. And it just goes to show, I really feel like these men are being targeted. Now, as Conor McGregor awaits a decision on charges related to a sexual assault complaint from December, the UFC megastar has been under investigation in a separate sexual assault case in his native Ireland last week. It just gets worse, y'all. I'm telling y'all. Y'all got to do something about this. The Times report McGregor 31 has been neither charged nor interviewed about the last allegation that he assaulted a woman in a vehicle outside a Dublin pub. It is the second such allegation in less than 12 months for the mixed martial artist. Now, Conor McGregor is frequently the subject of rumors. A publicist for the fighter said in a statement emailed the New York Times, he empathetically denies any report accusing him of sexual assault. Because Irish law prohibits identifying those who <laughs> accused of right before they are convicted, Media in Dublin have made loose connections to the two pending cases against McGregor by referring to a well-known Irish sports star. Police in Ireland also declined comment to the Times, other than to say that the investigation is ongoing and no arrests have been made. Now, aside from the two sexual assault investigations, McGregor was arrested for strong armed robbery and criminal mischief at the, whatever the hell this is, Fontana Blue I probably didn't fuck that name up. Hotel in Miami this past March through the charges were later dismissed. A few weeks later in April, McGregor punched a patron at a pub in Dublin and was charged with assault 
after a video of the event was published by TMZ Sports in August. McGregor hasn't fought since he suffered a defeat to Khabib. I'm not even going to try to say that same last name. At USC 229 in October 2018. Now see, this is something else I don't understand. Why they bring up these priors? Them priors ain't got nothing to do with what these hoes is trying to kill self lives. And it don't make no sense because, I mean, let's just be honest about it. These hoes is after the money. So you fellas got to protect yourself now. They want the bag. They want to get they want to get you in a car. They want to get you um, off where it's your word against theirs. And they want to run with it because we all know. Now, I'm going to say this again. It ain't all female. So, if it don't apply to you, then don't worry about it. Ladies, I'm talking about hoes right now. And you men folk got to be more careful. Y'all better get some damn uh, hidden cameras and shit, some teddy bears and some mirrors. How they even got uh, electrical sockets with cameras on it. USB chargers. It's so much out there. Y'all gonna have to protect yourself because I'm gonna be honest about you. It's hanger dude season. And these hoes is trying to hang all y'all dudes for this, for this bag. The Instagram thoughts and these, some of them, them used up porn stars, these damn club hoppers. They just want to get you to get in the car. They want to get in your car. They want to go to your house. They want to go to the hotel or the motel, the no-tail motel. Anywhere where it's closed doors where they can say, oh, no, he touched me. Oh, he raped me. Oh, he he did some stuff I didn't want to do. While damn well knowing that they hoes to begin with and they've been giving up that ass to, to the whole damn community for next to nothing. Now, all of a sudden, they want to go for the big bucket of bucks. So you men folks got to uh, keep your money in your bank accounts. Stop taking these hoes to dinner. Stop. Don't go meet no family. None of that. You better start going Dutch if you go on a date. And make sure you got a recorder going on. And help tell, tell, tell these hoes off the top. Let them know. Make these hoes sign some paperwork saying they ain't got some waiver or something. Saying that they want the dick. And whatever else, y'all come to an agreement and make that hoe sign it. So later on, when she comes with some bullshit, you got plenty of evidence to keep your ass out of motherfucking jail. Because these hoes want your money. You work too hard for this money. I tell my son that. You better get somebody who's willing to work as hard as you. Damn a date. A date is a walk in the park. Somewhere public. Where there's other people and cameras. Cities have cameras all over the damn place. So these hoes can't get you. Because they trying to get y'all. Now I don't excuse the men who are actually committing these crimes and acts. But for the ones who are just getting blamed for this shit. Y'all better start protecting y'all self. Because I'm going to say it again. It's hangar dude season. Now the money you spend on a date you could... You could spend that on yourself. You could spend that on paying your bills. You could spend that on getting hidden cameras and whatnot. And hell, if you even tell these hoes, look, everywhere you go with me in private, it really ain't in private. It's cameras everywhere. I bet them hoes strange they tune. They'll give up that pussy like they was doing in the projects on Hollywood Boulevard and the, the no-tail motel or wherever it is they do their shit at. Because all these hoes just want money and attention. These bitches is thirsty. Don't quench their thirst. Think about it, fellas. I'm rooting for y'all. Take care of yourself. Get a real woman. Not these little girls trying to play house and don't know what the hell to do with it, but they just want the money. They don't want to be your wife. They don't want to raise no kids. They just want money so they can go get get their titties bigger, their ass bigger. Get a brand new car. 
and let's do for the next motherfucker with more money than you. Fellas, you better pay attention and wake up. Think about it now. Once you stop learning, you start dying. And what, what I mean by that? Your wallet start dying. Your bank account stop dying. Your reputation dies. You better look at R. Kelly now. Bill Cosby now. And everybody else that came before and after them. Because they wasn't the first and they damn sure ain't gonna be the last. But if you stop quenching these holes thirst, it will stop being holes. If there are no tricks, there are no holes. If there are no holes, there are no damn tricks. Now, take my word for it. Because old sister such and such ain't finna sugarcoat shit. I'm gonna tell you just like it is. Mm-hmm. Now, if you're listening to this on YouTube, like, subscribe, and comment in the box below. And tell me what you think about it. Tell me how you feel about it. If you done had something to happen to you. Tell me about it. We can talk about it. Mm -hmm. I'm here to listen and talk with you. Now, if you're listening on any of the podcast stations, thank you for being here because you could have been somewhere else. But you decided to spend your time with old sister such and such. I appreciate you. I sure do. Now, shout out to all my friends and family over on YouTube. Spreaker, Spotify, CastBox, Big Ups to iHeart. Yes, they be playing sister such and such now, chat. Yes, they do. And I love me some y'all. And with the way today's society is, y'all need some damn truth. Raw, uncut truth. That is on one radio. Yes, that is. Now, you have been listening to On One Radio, and I have been your host, Sister Such and Such, and this has been Sister Talk. And welcome if you're a new listener, and thank you to all the On Ones Day Ones. Y'all keep your money in your wallet, and don't put your dicks in a blender. Mm -hmm. And remember, as I always say, if it walks like a duck, and talks like a duck. What well, hell is a fucking duck? Mm-hmm. Till next time, y'all. Be good. And stay y'all ass out of jail. Good evening. And welcome to Eastside Baptist Church. My name is James Jenkins, the 14th. And I'm coming to you live today to tell you that the Lord has been watching you motherfuckers not put money in the contribution box. Sister Jenkins... Please point the person out who didn't put nothing in the contribution box today. It's the reason why our toilet in the church is not working. Because no one has been putting nothing in the box. And you got to pay to hear about the Lord nowadays. And he gave me the word to give it to you. You motherfuckers better start putting something in the contribution box. So me and Sister Jenkins can continue to ride these on that bitch. Hell no.